Chip. This is what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. But um, since we a little bit on that note talking, young thug, we posted something last week on IG, the DA from Philly. Um, he press conference, he mentioned a couple gangs from Philly and basically sent them, I guess, a warning shot that they were coming for them. Keep it a scene, though. What's your thoughts on it? I think it's a time political scheme. Uh, it's it's a they they knew about this for a while, right? And they knew these gangs like like the back of their hand. I'm sure they had info on all everybody and everybody gang where where they hang out at, who's who. So I think it's a. Uh, a political game for whoever's like next about to go for office. School's about to start up. Right, he, he wants to do it. They're gonna do a clean sweep, and then we're gonna be, we're gonna get those whoever endorses and pushes this through all these praise and whatever just to get them reelected. Right. Well, there's no reelection. Is so they up for a new yeah, governor? Yeah, new governor, but the, the Philly, Pennsylvania governor election is this year. So, Tom Wolf, what's your thoughts on Trump. it, Vita? I feel like kind of similar to what he's saying like these motherfuckers know what's going on because he spit out all these names right like, like he's been new and a lot of the people in the comments that we didn't know what was going on like, like i had to explain it to some people because even shout out sheet he like who the hell was O to the floor oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like don't you know see what i'm saying is, a lot of people don't know, don't know so for is. him to just be spitting yeah. that out fluently like we supposed to know who these, right. like that yeah. was crazy but they do all that shit Around election time, so they can right. like to make it like they doing something. Right, yeah. right, right. So let me ask y'all a question, right? Because of that that press conference, like let's say they go ahead and do a mass indictment, they like lock people up. But I wanted to give you an example. Let's take Rayful Edmonds. He's a famous, well known drug dealer from DC. He was yeah. getting money in the eighties. Mm -hmm. He was being investigated from eighty five to eighty nine. He got indicted in 89. When he got charged, they charged him, that their, their, their crew, they were tied to over 30 homicides. So in these four years that y'all watched him, mm -hmm. 30 homicides happened on a clock. So what I want to ask you is, are these victims, because we all know that everybody knows what's going on, the DA, mm -hmm. the mayor, the commissioner, are these victims of violence, whether they've been murdered, they've just received gunshot wounds, are they collateral damage? Absolutely. We Absolutely. know the rules of engagement. Yep. At the end of the day, if the police know more than we think they belong, from word of mouth, actual rats, right. confidential informants, all of the above, and like you said, the feds, they don't, they're don't they not like city cops. They investigate you for years right and they know what's going on they know that these murders are tied to you so they'll let that shit pile up and wait right they feel like they got enough for it to be a slam dunk conviction and especially if they got if they can't get to the big dog and they got somebody else they'll wait till that guy kills three or four people right and then use that against him like yep. for, for the prime example of sammy the bull right and, and, and john Gotti. sammy the bull admitted to 18 homicides himself right and he told on Gotti, you know, he went free on 18 homicides. Just right. Well, I mean, well, that's kind of with, with Alpo, with Wayne Perry. But Alpo still went to jail. Yeah, he went. He, oh, oh, Sam, oh, you said. Sammy Bull ain't get no numbers. Yeah, I mean, but he went to jail, though, right? But he ain't get, Alpo got like 20 or some shit like that, yeah, right? Yeah, but Sammy I'm Bull, saying. Matter of fact, no, Sammy Bull, if I'm not mistaken, he didn't. He went in witness protection and then went out to Seattle or somewhere and, and got when, in a, uh, even, um, even, ecstasy Even ring. if so, you not getting life. When they say. All right, you killed five people, but since we want you, your hitman to kill 12 people, right. we going to let you slide even though you're the money. Exactly. So, so I'm like, damn, let's just think of, because now that everything is being brung to the light and it's like, nah, some of these uh people that were shot by accident when this person is shooting at that person, 
I'm like, damn, how much of this does uh you let ride in an investigation? Like when you know people are running around wild. Mm-hmm. Like how long how y'all let 30 bodies pile up on on Ray for and them and y'all just letting them get money like to build up so he can go away mm-hmm. forever. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like that 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 shows you don't care for the, the rest of the society or nothing else, in my opinion. Yep. But um let me ask you this though, because I was talking to my youngin', right? And I sent y'all the text after I talked to him. He said, and he's only 15, 16, 17 years old. He's in that age range. He said they don't have no old heads. He said down his way, they don't have no old heads. He said all their old heads is either in jail Mm -hmm. or dead. These old heads ain't trying to mess with these young boys nowadays. But he's saying they don't have no... He's saying most most of these young boys don't have no old heads. I could agree with that because also, not besides dead in the jail, the ones that are out there view these young boys as dickheads and they don't want to deal with it. They don't listen. If I tell you this and you go against what I'm saying... Of course, everybody do dumb shit, make mistakes, but you consistently you like I'm, I ain't got nothing else to say to you, right? And then they not the young boys not trying to hear that shit. Anyway. Not 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 just that though, but I think it's also a thing where you got the old because like a lot of it go back to what I say the money thing. You got a lot of these older guys that got money but been cowards for years, mm-hmm. and they want to keep their money, so now they're using the young boys. As crash dummies to go do this, go do that because they got a couple dollars and the young boys don't. And the young boys willing to do it. The grind ain't the same now as it was in our era. Right. So being as though, because a lot of the schooling Mm -hmm. from the OIS came to us. Right. Courtesy of the grind. Like, listen, you do this, that, and the third of the grind, you don't. You can't get no money right. if you if body right. bodies is piling up. It ain't no grind like that no more. Ain't no motherfuckers ain't on the corner hustling. The I hustle ain't you. the same. So right. these young niggas ain't getting no money. So all they doing is wreck chasing. Right. I but, agree. But let you. me ask you a question though. It would police and everybody be standing back in Philly if some of these homicides was not people of color? But there some of the I, I, would, I was, was saying women, that, was but that's why I'm black. saying co- collateral right, damage because down. It's people that's been getting knocked down. It's not of race. It's just been innocent. Yeah. Body. Like all them people got people shot Temple, on South Street. People from Temple been getting yeah, knocked down for years. years. You see what I'm saying? South so, been getting knocked down for years. So th- that's that's what I'm saying. But what's your thoughts on it, people? I don't think color so much is status. No, now, but, see, but status. see, I, th- I think there's some unexpected situation. Like the one on South Street, that wasn't like a hit hit. Uh, I think that was a situation that transpired. So, but we don't know that though. That's, that's true. That's true. Like we three don't, of them back to back too, huh? Three, it actually happened like three times back to back down South Street. I mean, not just down South Street. What about the girl that got shot in the bar where she just went out for the first time? Well, like I said, I don't think, more so color. I I definitely think that plays a part, but I feel like status, status. plays a big part. If it was somebody of a higher status that got hit. Cops wouldn't be cops would be on your ass more so as though. What you mean by joke. status? Like, like who? Somebody like, that's famous, somebody that's rich, somebody who like a a, a a political person. Okay. Somebody like that. Then then you think that that'll make them and they investigation Hell and yeah. swoop then? But think about it. Like you see on TV, you see CSI, all that type of shit. You've never seen CSI in the streets of Philadelphia. Well, yeah. let me tell you one thing that does help them out, right? Like anytime these people get murdered, especially if it's somebody of high status, that's what they got. They're backing them. It's called what? life insurance, and a life insurance policy. Why they? What if these people got to pay out? Oh, we the insurance company like we gonna get to the bottom of this. We need to find out who killed JoJo or Ray or I whatever. I seen something about that. They said if everybody had life insurance, Joe, Joe, bodies wouldn't be piled. They up would not. They, they would not because they be making sure like yo, y- y'all gotta find out what happened, bro. We gotta pay out this money. I mean, you know, it's always uh-huh. about money. Yeah. But what's your thoughts on it, people? The DA, he had a message for the gangs or the cliques or the squads in Philly. Keep it to see, know how you feel about it. Are the, are the victims of these violent acts in the city of Philadelphia, are they collateral damage? Because right. as we can see, the DA knows what's going on. The mayor prevented. knows what's going on. And the commissioner knows what's going on. So keep it a C note with us. Let us know. Yep. Um, let's talk a little NBA real quick. Um, it's been a lot of talk about LeBron. You know, this may be the year where he breaks Kareem's record. Shout out to you, John. You sent something about 
LeBron making more money than the whole WNBA combined. Yep. yep. Um, what's your thoughts on that? Keep it a C-note. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You, you, they getting paid according to the market values. Right. NBA, WNBA ain't been around as long. It don't sell as many as tickets. That's right. why they make more money overseas. Right. What, what's your thoughts on it, John? I want to make sure I got the Bulls name right because – What's the uh Bill Barr, I think? Uh uh or uh, Bill Burr, the comedian? Burr, yeah. Yo, that's a funny yeah. muscle. So he, he put out a tweet and on why he thinks the NBA is failing or whatever. I just seen his you gotta and, watch and, and I, I kind of agree Netflix. with him. He said and, why what is failing? Yeah, WNBA. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, I, I I'm exactly it's gonna be on the say. screen because I'm gonna send it to you. All right. Um and he kind of put it like with all these feminists and all the women that fought to get the NBA going and getting their own league, all the past NBA players, this, that, and the third, like y'all fought for this. And uh, I mean, from college players that y'all fought for a, a, a WNBA league. And when it came, where were they? They, they were frontline to get them these arenas, these teams or whatever. But then when it came to pack and seats, none of these women were around. And right. he says that, is the women to blame for this? He said, I, "Yeah, he, listen." He said, "Y'all rather watch Real Housewives than watch the games." He said, "Y'all don't come to the games. Y'all don't buy tickets." Right. That's a that that's a fact. That's yeah. a fact. I agree with y'all. Like, um, well, especially you, Vito, because you know, NBA is like one of the top three most popular sports in the world. So you know, they going to get paid different mm-hmm. because they bringing in different money. But I do agree with that. The females don't support. You said all the feminists, all those. Yeah, they yeah. they they definitely don't support. Oh. You know what I mean? They so, don't watch an NBA game before watch a WNBA game. That that's a fact. That's a fact. But since we talking NBA, we talking LeBron. Let's let's do the top three best players right now coming into the season from the Pacific Division. That's the Lakers, Phoenix. You said coming in or the best of all time from the moment? coming in. Coming into the season, all right, I started yeah, you started. who who you got, Vito? The Clippers is kind of a, is kind of easy. You got uh, Claw, you got no, Paul George. No, 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 no. I'm just saying the top three players. Oh, the, uh, I, the, oh, the whole, whole division. division. Yeah, like who's the best player in the division? Who's the second best player? Who's the third okay, best player? I, I, I'm gonna go. Um, do you want to order or just yeah, go in order. Uh, I'm gonna go Steph, Brian, and, and I'm gonna go um Kawhi. Okay, shout out to that. Who, uh, who um, you got? I would ha- I would have to actually double down and say the same to that one, Vito. Okay, uh, shout out to that. Um, I was gonna agree with y'all, but since Kawhi didn't play the whole last season, yeah, I'm or bar and injured, right, right, right. So what I'm, but I'm just saying I don't know what Kawhi coming back with. So, but he was but, my number but three. You know what? No, you know what? I, I I'm sorry, I'm taking Kawhi off. Who you got coming at? into the season? I'm sorry. I'm, yeah. I'm Who putting, you? I'm putting Booker. Okay, shout out to that then, I'm John. We got the same three. Yeah. I got Booker at three. I, can't, I, can't put, I got Brian at two, and yes. I got Steph at one, one the best one. player. Now, don't get me wrong. If if Kawhi would have played last year, Kawhi would either be my one or two. Mm-hmm. He would be my one or two, but yeah. since I don't know what we getting, Coming you know. into the season, I, I, I put my I money on book. book. Yeah. Before, I like book. Mean? Yeah. So, what's your thoughts, people? Right now, who's the top three players coming into the NBA season from the Pacific Division? Keep the C note with us. Shit. This is what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you what I'm feeling like. 